So, in today's video, I'm going to take a look at the game last night between the Montreal Canadiens and the Ottawa Senators. We're going to look at the highlights together, you know, look at the rough stuff. Wasn't that a fun game? I thought it was entertaining. But first, before we get into this, I've got some breaking news for you lads who are just waking up with a massive headache from your extracurricular activities last night. The Arizona Coyotes earned a single point last night, crawling into overtime against the St. Louis Blues, and bam, something to be proud of today, boys. After their eighth straight loss in a row, the Canadians are finally getting the recognition they deserve at last place in the league. And it's a tie, okay, so it's close. And really, we couldn't have accomplished this amazing feat without the support from guys like Mike Hoffman, who actually reached out to me and personally requested a shout out in this video. So guys, a round of applause here for Tank Commander Mikey. Now back to the game last night. Before this one even started, we got Austin Watson skating off to Carey Price, showing a good display of sportsmanship, you know, before the puck even drops. So heads off to him, and right after this, all that love, the feels good stuff, is out the window. It's gone. The first two periods of this game was probably the most entertaining hockey that I've seen all year. Why? Because of the goals and the rough stuff. These two teams, they hate each other. I like it. We all know what happened during the previous game with Brendan Gallagher calling out Tim Stutzel for his diving. Then yesterday, DJ Smith spoke with the media and he called out Brendan Gallagher himself, you know, saying, hey, since you said that shit about our boy, get this. He hasn't even been getting as many calls lately. What the hell? Even though, well, yeah, I think he's doing just fine there, Tony Soprano. So we had all uh, this drama going on between these two players. Then we had Michael Pozzetta returning to the Habs lineup after serving a two-game suspension. The Sins, you know, they were probably anticipating a wild game. They decided to call up Sloth Sabrin. And I'm thinking, really? Scott Sabrin? <laughs> Our boy Pizzetta over here, he sees scarier shit than that when he looks in the mirror every morning to brush his friggin' teeth. Anyway, the puck is dropped and these two teams are jawing at each other right from the start. The Canadians get a few shots on goal, things are looking good. Right up until, well, they didn't look so good. We get a bit of a strange sequence. Castellick, or whatever the hell his name is, he goes in along the boards, picks up the puck. Fires it on goal while taking a hit from Michael Pizzetta. The puck somehow gets past Price. And truthfully, I don't even know if Kostalik even knows this. He's already got his gloves off with Pizzetta. It was a bit of an uneventful fight, mostly a wrestling match. Two of these Rottweilers get thrown into the penalty box, and it's one to nothing for the Ottawa Senators. Now, it's also worth pointing out that right from the opening faceoff, both Gallagher and Tim Stutzel, these guys, they were, they were marked men. All right, they were both victimized the entire night. Late into the first period, Scott Slobburn gets the opportunity to, you know, confront Gallagher in the corner, even though, you know, Thomas Shabbat is already on him. This leaves Rem Pitlick all alone in front of the net, and he scores a goal because the Senators were too fixated on Gallagher. Bit of a, I don't know, a dumb play on the Sins part. But listen, I was watching the game last night with intentions on just ripping on Scott Sabburn today. But in all honesty, as much as this hurts me to say, Sabern was probably the most noticeable player on the ice for both teams last night. He didn't look out of place at all. That line was dynamite. Moving on to the second period now, this is exactly where shit hits the fan goal-wise. Before I've even got time to focus, Austin Watson tips home a goal. Then a few minutes later, Parker Kelly scores off a two-on-one. Josh Norris redirects a puck pass Price. Then Brendan Gallagher decides that, hey, sharing is caring. He shares the puck with Scott Sabrin, who sets up Kostalik for his second goal of the game. Just like that, at the blink of an eye, it's five to one. I thought they were gonna pull a price at this point, but for whatever reason, they decided to leave him in. We've got five goals on Carey Price in 15 shots at this point in the game. Some of them he didn't have a chance, you know, they were tips, but some of them he should have had. And no matter what way you wanna slice and dice it, he was not having fun out there. The Canadians call a timeout here. Marty St. Louis tries to, you know, settle his troops down. He sends out Tank Commander Hoffman hoping for the best. They get a two-on-one, it's him and Caulfield, and boom! Cole Caulfield gets his 20th goal of the season. Yeah! 
You see, something good did happen in this game. Fans are high five and they're digging the Colin Askafinator. And you gotta admit, it is amazing that this guy managed to score 20 goals this year despite only having one in the first half of the season. And how about Mike Hoffman with the beautiful backhand pass? And believe it or not, this would not be his nicest pass of this game. We're gonna get there. Just give me a second. But anyway, the Canadians, they get the momentum swing going. Edmondson gets tangled up with Brady Kachuk deep in the half zone. And when he joins in on the rush, Jake Evans makes a nice pass. And Edmondson rips a bullet past Forsberg. We got a 5 tree game. And guess what? A few seconds later, the Habs are going to the power play. Nothing can stop them now. Mike Hoffman collects the puck. He sits up, uh, Formington? What kind of a pass was that? Formington comes in on a breakaway, and he seals the deal for the Sint. And if you're wondering how Carey Price felt about Mike Hoffman's second assist of the game, yeah, he wasn't too impressed. Neither was I. As for the third period, I was really hoping there was going to be some more fireworks. Not much happened. The refs kind of sucked the life out of this game with all the penalties. And the Sins shot down the head pretty good. Now Pitlick would score his second goal of the game. And this game ends with a score of 6-4. to four. Overall, I thought it was a good one. I did enjoy this game. Lots of rough stuff going on. We had the Piz fight in the first period. We had lots of chirping going on between both sides. Some rough stuff after the whistles. The Canadians might have lost, but I was entertained. They're at the bottom of the league now, right where they deserve to be. Things are good. Don't forget to leave me a comment and let me know what you thought about this one. Maybe do what Sloth Slobbering would do to the like button on the way out of here. Well, I'll see you next time.